Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome back as we continue to create a binary search tree project in C++. So for this tutorial we're going to be creating a helper function which I'm going to call return node. What we'll do is we'll use this function when we want to kind of inspect a certain node in our tree. And this is just a helper function so it's not going to have a whole lot of value in and of itself but we're going to use this function later on inside of our other functions we create. This particular function is going to return a node pointer and we'll just go ahead and call this function return node. And what we want it to do is we want it to return a pointer to a node that corresponds to a key value that we're passing in. We're going to give this function a key value. We want this function to go ahead and find the node that's inside of that tree that contains that key value if it exists and then return a pointer to that node. So for this one, we're also going to do a return node private function. So we'll do a node star and then we'll do return node private. We're passing in the key value of the node that we want. Return node private is going to need to take a node pointer as an argument as well. So now let's go ahead and define these in our binary search tree.cpp file. First, let's go ahead and define the return node function. So we'll just go ahead and copy that. We'll paste it here in the binary search tree.cpp file. We need to let our program know that we're defining this node pointer from the binary search tree class. And we're also defining the function from the binary search tree class as well. So the return node is simply just going to call the return node private function. And it's going to pass in the key value that it was given. And then it will also pass in the root pointer. And so let's just go ahead and copy this up here, paste it down here, and then we'll just add the word private right here to go ahead and define the return node private function. Then we'll do an opening and closing curly brace and we'll define our function inside of the curly braces. So scrolling up here, let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit more room. Oh, and then one more thing I need to do before we get started is I need to make sure we add that second variable here, which is a node pointer that we're naming PTR. So the first thing we wanna do inside of this function is we're just going to check to see if the pointer that we're passing in is pointing to anything or not. Because if the pointer that we're passing in isn't pointing to anything, we need to make sure that we return a pointer that is pointing to nothing as well. So if our pointer is not pointing to something, we wanna make sure that we return null. So if we are pointing to something, then we want to check if we're pointing to the node that we want to inspect. So if we are pointing to the node that we want, then we'll catch that with this statement saying, is the key inside of the node we're currently looking at, is that equal to the key that we're passing in? If that's the case, we found the node that we want, and so we're going to just return a pointer to that node by saying return PTR. We're saying just go ahead and return the pointer that is pointing to the current node because that's the node that we want. So if our current pointer is not pointing to the correct node, then we're just going to do a little bit of recursion until we either find the node or we end up returning null if we were not able to recursively find this node in our tree. So we're just going to say else, and then we'll do an opening and closing curly brace to define what we want to do inside of this else here. So then we're just going to check, we're going to say, well, if the key value that we are looking for is less than the key value inside of the current node that we're looking at. We're going to recursively call this function, but we need to make sure we add the word return. And then we're going to call the return node private function. We're going to pass in the key value of the node we're looking for along with the left pointer. Because if the key value we're looking for is less than the key in the current node that we're looking at, then we want to go left because of the less than greater than properties of our binary search tree. And we don't really need to check to see if our left pointer is pointing to anything at this point because we'll go ahead and catch that when we recursively enter into the return node private function the next time. So if the key value is greater than the value inside of the current node we're looking at, we'll catch that with this else statement. We've already taken care of the case where they're equal. So here's less than. This next part only leaves us with greater than. So if that's the case, we're basically just going to do the same thing as we did right here. But instead of passing in the left pointer, we're going to pass in the right pointer. Because if our key value is greater than the key value in the current node we're looking at, then the greater values are going to be found by traversing right because of the properties of a binary search tree. 
So that's all we really need to do for the return node private and the return node functions. Let's just go ahead and save this file. We'll save the binary search tree file as well. And I don't think I touched the main.cpp file, but we'll save that as well. And then we'll just go ahead and just make sure this still compiles before we go to the next tutorial. So we'll just do g++ main.cpp, enter. And it looks like I have something wrong. Control reaches end of non-void function. So let's take a look at this. In the binary search tree that CPP, we have an error on line 93. So on line 93 here, oh, we forgot to return something. So I just need to add that return keyword because we're returning a node pointer. So let's go ahead and go back to our terminal here. And I'm just going to type in the clear command so that we can get rid of all this other stuff on here. And then we're just going to try this one more time. G++, going to compile our main.cpp file. And I forgot to hit the save button. So bear with me here, sorry about that. So save, and we'll try this one more time. Should work, everything looks great. Okay, so I know you guys can't really see the benefit of this at this point. We'll be using this probably in the next tutorial as a helper function in the next function I create, which will be a function that displays the children associated with a current node. So stay tuned for that tutorial and we'll go ahead and take a closer look at our tree and see the structure of it in the next tutorial. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys later. Have an excellent day and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.